the way you're going to be tested in nursing school <laughs> Welcome back to Tea Takes On, and today is going to be my first nursing video. I'm super excited. I am super passionate about maternal health, and I want to become a labor and delivery nurse at the moment. You know how like clinicals can change your mind, but I really don't think my mind can be changed about this because I really love maternal health. But today, I'm not going to make a video on that. I'll be making a video about fundamentals of nursing and five tips to get you through fundamentals, five tips to keep in mind, five tips that can be helpful. So I hope that this is helpful for you guys. Um, my first tip would be practice questions. The way you're gonna be tested in nursing school is different from the way that you are used to being tested in your biology classes or in your chemistry classes in other ways, uh, in other classes that you're doing. When you're being tested in nursing classes, it's more of a scenario based type of thing. You're not getting um, this is a this is like the name of this. What's the definition or what is the function of it? You're getting uh, a work. Well, you're getting a scenario and it's what is your best role or what would you do? What is the best thing to do in this given scenario? So if you're not used to being tested like that, which if you're not from like nursing school, you're not gonna be used to being tested like that. So you would need to do more practice questions. So whatever your topic that you're being tested on or whatever you're being taught on, my advice would be to go on and do practice questions to help prepare yourself to see questions in that way. My second advice or second tip would be knowing your ABCs. Eventually they'll, they'll talk to you about your ABCs, which is talking about your priorities. Um, a is for airway, B is for breathing, and C is for circulation. So you're given your scenarios and it's like, which one would you go with first? You're not gonna work on a breathing problem when you have an airway problem first. You would do the airway before you focus on the breathing. Another one is three is gonna be note taking. Make sure you're taking good notes. Make sure you listen really good to what the professor is talking about, what they're focusing on, what they're putting more emphasis on. Also, know the differences in um, what a nurse's role is versus what an LPN's role is versus a CNA versus an, S versus an advanced practitioner. Because when you're asking questions, it's what is your role in that sense? And if you have worked as a CNA, you might be thinking like, oh, my role is to do this, but then really like your role is different. It's a change or you may get questions that is like, what would you advise your, uh, your um, like a CNA to do for you in that sense? So it's to know like, oh, okay, I can't tell an advanced practitioner to do this. I need to talk to uh, a CNA about this. So to know what, to do and who to ask for different things. You're not gonna ask a CNA to help you with medication administra administration. But if you had questions on medication administration, you would be asking an advanced practitioner or like the charge nurse or someone above you, not your CNA about that. Or if you need help with like changing bed or changing linen or doing activi activities of daily living for a patient, you would not go and ask an advanced practitioner for help but you would be talking to your CNA and collaborating with how you guys can both do that task together or for them to do that task. So that's important to know what somebody's role is and how you can delegate or how you can communicate with your team because everything is about teamwork and, and what you're doing. And with note taking, something that has worked and that I've used throughout nursing school is an iPad. I love my iPad. My iPad's here with me right now. I love my iPad so much. I downloaded the app Notability and Notability allows me to be able to download all my PowerPoints. And I download my PowerPoints and then I'm able to record while I take notes. So if I'm ever studying and I'm like, hey, what did the professor say during this specific time? I can hold down on it. And once I hold down on it, what the professor is saying at that given time will start playing. So that's why I really, really love Notability because 
you can record, you can download your PowerPoints on it, you can write on your PowerPoints, you can like copy and paste things. Like there's times where like the teacher pulls up a picture of something that is not on the PowerPoint and I need it. So I'll just take a picture of that and I can instantly put it right on the PowerPoint right where um, I've been taught that given information. Um, another big topic is SBAR that you might be going on. So while taking notes, if you are getting some questions about like SBAR, which is communication, like how to properly communicate to an advanced practitioner, or how to give a good report to somebody. So that's pretty important. So tip number four would be when you're studying, give yourself some breaks. Like don't just go five hours, just cramming, 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 like you cannot cram, like cramming, you have to actually know what you're doing or you have to actually know how to apply the information that you're giving. So instead of like just cramming it all, you need to know how to apply. So if you wanna do different techniques where you're going like 30 minutes, going and looking at information, five minutes, not doing anything or just resting your brain, 30 minutes and a five minute break, 30 minutes studying, five minute break, for the allotted time that you decide to study for. So I think that that's pretty good because you can like stretch yourself out and then keep on going. Um, also, my last advice, that's number tip number five, is to look over your PowerPoints before getting to class. So whenever you get your PowerPoint, you download it. Like I would get my PowerPoint, I would download it on Notability, and then I would go through my PowerPoints. I'd go through just to give myself an idea of, okay, this is what I, I am going to be expecting in class. So I would go through the PowerPoint and then I would look for practice questions that relate to that PowerPoint. Or sometimes I look for videos that relate to certain topics. So I'm like, okay, this is what it's about. And then I do questions. So typically I try to do a couple of questions before I get to my, my lecture. So then once I get to my lecture, I'm like, okay, I heard this word before, this is what it actually means. And then I'm able to like be engaged in class and ask questions and ask like what the professor wanted us to know concerning this this topic or like, it's a, it gives you a better like, it gives you a better uh, scope of what you need to know before getting into class. So those are my five tips, which is one, practice questions, two, knowing your ABGs slash your priorities, three, note taking, four, take breaks while you're studying, and five, look at your PowerPoints before you get to class. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Um, you can leave a comment. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you. Take care. Signing out. Bye.